fictitious blueprints and stuff. No idea. Don't you dare come alive. Oh, or start moving when I'm not looking. Look at that. Or one of them is going to switch and become... Great Grace! Oh my god! Oh. Alright guys, so welcome to something that I recently stumbled across. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I really don't know all that much going into this, but from what I can tell... I believe this is going to take place over four different chapters, and this is the first one. A vengeful entity comes to take the girl you're babysitting. Guide your way through various psychological twists and turns as you begin to realize that not everything is as it seems. I really don't know too much more apart from the fact that some of the pictures that I've seen of this look pretty impressive, so I hope this is one of those uncovered gems, and if it is, then we're going to experience it together, so... Here we go with something called Blink. Okay, we're in. Old house. Can almost smell it. We turn a light on. What is that? I like a little light next to the switch. It's all got them. Alright, let's find out who's there. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? Doctor, I'm sorry. Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? Of course not, Doctor. Never mind. How's Lily doing? Is she around? She's upstairs playing at the moment, but I can go get her if you give me just one second. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm going to be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? Absolutely anything for you, Doctor. That won't be the problem. You just have to let me know when you'll be back. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, uh, go ahead. Do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present to her before she goes to bed. It's a rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs, across from Lily's. It'll be in one of the cabinets. Did you get all that? Yes, I've got all that. The cake is in the kitchen, and you've left a rabbit doll for her in your room. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. Are we okay? We don't sound too well. Kind of, like, really soft-spoken, and I can't quite put my finger on why that would be. Maybe because we've just woken up or something? And yes, I'm absolutely getting all the lights on in this creepy place. It's one of those things, though, like, whenever you see a house like this, when it's, like, dimly lit, it's terrifying. But when it's lit up like this, it's kind of nice, you know? All, like, the old wood and stuff. Look at that. It's so cool. I was hearing all the creaks when we were on the phone, too. Oh, do we go down there? Nope, nope, not yet. Not going on there yet. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we don't have to, I'm not doing it. Looks like she already got a piece. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is set in the... I want to say 70s? Let's just have a look around. Can't interact with anything. That's some bread. I believe we can... Oh, we haven't got a flashlight. Okay, can we... There's a lean mechanic in this. <laughs> Lily! Be... Hmm. Wonder where she went off to. She's hiding under that table, isn't she? She's gonna scare the hell out of me when I go over there. Just doing this, like this, and you see something leaning back. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. I just gave myself chills. Is this what she was drawing? Wait, what is that? Zoom in. See the back of it. She's got a thing for butterflies. And Slenderman by the looks of it. Oh, there's like a weird tension developing. You hear that? What's this? You have now delved into the Dusk Dimension every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Popular psychology, unlocking the secrets of the mind, a look into camp research. Center for Applied Memory Pharmaceuticals. Made waves early this year after... Wait, let me read that. 
announcing successful first-round tests for a new drug that can assist the brain against early stages of dementia. The currently named Enviga was put in development in 1961 with the help of government grants. If Enviga proves to be successful commercially, this could pave the way for even more projects for Camp, who promises to master the human mind before the turn of the millennium. Ooh. So, uh, a drug for dementia? Oh, we st is that the thing from Doctor Who? What's that thing called? Is it the TARDIS? Oh god, I'm gonna get killed for that. I know a few people watch that. I've, I've never really watched it. <laughs> Pretty good drawing. For a tiny I mean, she's not wrong. Me and Mommy. Progress report. Name, Vida. Yeah, so... Wait. Oh, so we just call her dad by a surname then? Okay. Nope, nope. I'm not going into any room that I don't need to. Nope. Can you imagine this though? Like... Somebody just rifling through all your stuff in your house. I don't want to pick that up. Creepy dolls. What's this? Oh, wait, we can pick that up. Thanks again for watching, Lily. Her birthday present should be arriving later. The cake is in the kitchen. Limit her to one piece or she'll get a stomach ache. After that, you're free to do as you please. Just keep Lily out of trouble. Like I said over the phone, just be patient with her and it should be an easy night. P.S. Don't be surprised if you don't see much of her. She tends to keep herself to herself when upset. Oh, she tends to keep to herself when upset. Why would she be upset? Is it her birthday or something? Is that why she's got cake and presents? Or is there a Lily? reason? Is there a reason why we're not seeing her? Look at this, though. This looks so good. You can smell the leather. What's in your safe? What is this? September 53. National Directory of Qualified Fallout Shelter Analysts. Department of Defense, Office of Civil Defense. Who's that? There's that word again in the top right corner. Camp. So it's the pharmaceutical company then? Is that who Vida works for? Is that why we're seeing this everywhere? Missing person homicide. Case closed. Just trying to scan through this to see if there's a name or... I see that at the bottom there. Disorderly conduct fighting. Okay. Date, July 6th, 1967. Patient William Brown, inmate 44295. Assigned psychiatrist, yet to be assigned. Objective, rehabilitate. Patient history. Brown was convicted of murdering his father on August 16th, 1960. Though only 13 at the time, he was tried as an adult. His defense reportedly tried to organize an insanity case, but Brown pleaded guilty to all charges against him, assuring he was of sound mind. He spent four years in juvie before being transferred to the Colorado State Pen. Shortly after being transferred, Brown had a violent confrontation with another inmate involving a shoelace he'd gotten somehow. He was put in solitary confinement as being reintroduced to general population or prison population within the past month. Brown's behavior is quiet. He often keeps to himself. He seems to be articulate, Reading anything he can get his hands on. No history of medications. Okay. So is this what Lily's dad was doing then? Is this his office and his... Ew! Every morning John Doe wakes up to a hot cup of coffee, the morning paper and a beautiful family. Yes, old John here lives the perfect life. Is this what it used to look like in magazines and stuff? Like, how they used to portray how your life is supposed to be, you know, the normal life, how you're supposed to live it. The holiday highlight, Daisy Dots. That is Annabelle's cousin. <laughs> Comes in classic yellow, bright blue, vibrant green, collect them all. No, no, <laughs> no, I'm good. Instruction manual for the DC 9495. 4K Technica, classic model. What's this? Just three easy steps. Right click, select an audio tape, left click to play the button, enjoy. Okay, so when we find tapes, put it in there. Yeah, we don't have any. All right. Yeah, you can go through everything. <laughs> Almost everything. Wait. Let's keep that on. 
Just in case I need to. No, we can't leave. Okay. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> Please don't ask me to go up there. Oh, I didn't see what that said. I just tried to pick it up and read it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Chloe. Just go away. I, I just want to be left alone for a while. I'll be out later. Oh. Oh, there we go. Maybe I should give her a present. Maybe that will cheer her up. Hold on. Before we do that, I want to hear what this tape says. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, no, no, no. Okay, we're already getting shit happen. Where is it? No, no. Stop. Is that the bunny there? Okay, we got it. Oh my god. It's that really old, like, 50s music too? Hold on. That Vida's hat. There we go. Hey, Lily. It's Daddy. I hope this message gets to you by your birthday. Your mom mailed me some of your drawings the other day. I must say you're getting much better. Like this one of you and mom in the park is, is really good. And this one with you and... Listen, Lily. I know you're probably getting tired of me being away all the time. But that's going to change very soon, okay? And now you've got a recording of me saying it. So before I leave, It'll be your job to play me this tape and remind me of my promise. Until then, happy birthday. I'll be back before you know it. I love you. So he was talking about the uh, the pictures on the fridge then? And then he mentioned, he said the one where you're with your mommy and then the other one. So I'm guessing she's got an imaginary friend or something like that that she sees. Like, what does that say? Whether you get mad... Or feel way too sad. Ew. Okay, so some of these things I can't read. It's just like some kind of spirit paper or something. <laughs> right, let's go back upstairs. I'm really trying to pay attention to things that are changing too. One thing that you guys will notice about me. Sometimes I'm really good with that. I'm all over it. Other times I'm like, wait, nothing's changed. <laughs> and everything would have changed. Okay, what's this? Cannon City Middle School Student Discipline Referral Form for Lily Vida, Grade 4, referred by Sarah Johnson. Description of violation. Lily hit another student after said student took one of her drawings. Normally, I'd recommend discipline for both students in situations like this, but the drawing was of Lily and someone named Grace, mocking another student's weight. Even if this weren't the case, Lily has no right to use physical violence when frustrated. Discipline recommendation. Guidance counselor visit. Grace. See, there's a question mark next to that. Is that who Lily's been drawing? That her dad was talking about? Can't open that. Oh, I can't turn the radio on. Oh, wait. Wait a second, what? I'm hearing something as well. Like, I don't know if it's ambient sounds outside or... That's weird. I picked up the bunny from over there. It's just the house creaking. Ooh, we can go outside. Oh. I just got goosebumps all over my body then. Check the 
Garage. No. Oh, those sounds like walking from like a normal bit of paving or something and then going across the grass or like gravel. Listen to that. Can we sprint? Oh, yeah, we can. If I see something in one of those windows right now... Wait, is that... What room is that? Is that Lily's room? I'm trying to... Work out where we are. What in the paranormal activity was that? That was like the exact noise as well. The good doctor will be there for you. Vida, what did you do? You've got a spirit that is pissed by the sounds of it. Oh, there's keys there. Set of keys added. Weird place to leave your keys, but I'm not judging. No flashlight or anything, right? I'm gonna double check the, the garage real quick, make sure that I can't get anything from in there. So it's not the keys for that. Try this door. Let's get back inside. Don't mind telling you guys, my heart rate definitely went up when I went outside there. Let's close that. <laughs> Let's just keep that extra closed. I mean, it looks incredible. I think this game is a couple of years old at this point, but it definitely doesn't look aged. Welcome back to all breaking news. Real news from real people. A small Colorado town is still shaken by the disappearance of Grace Patterson, a babysitter who attempted to kidnap the girl she was watching over. The night of the kidnapping, the parents returned home earlier than expected. When they arrived, they found Patterson driving away in a hurry. Patterson ended up in a high-speed chase with the parents following the abduction with the child in the back seat. Patterson lost control of the vehicle, ramming into a tree, ending the pursuit. By the time law enforcement arrived, Patterson was gone, though the girl was safe, sustaining only minor injuries. Patterson, aged 18, had been babysitting for the couple for about a year before the incident. Oh no. Detectives or parents she was the previous babysitter? Oh, what is this? It's got that creepy music playing too. Oh. I thought I had to go through those doors. Oh my f Okay. Everything is dialed up now. Get the light and get the light. Oh my god. I hate that. It's Grace, isn't it? So whatever happened with her being the previous babysitter is clearly a bad thing. Why would she be speeding away from them? Either this house or... It's probably this doll, isn't it? Annabelle's cousin. You. You haunted piece of shit. Right, hold on. Let me... Get all of these lights back on. Check Vida's office. Which I think that's what it is. Where did that come from? Oh, it's definitely in here. I keep thinking when I'm swinging my head left to right, something is just going to appear right in front of my face. I called it. It's the doll. Oh, no. This is all bad. 
Lily. Robbie. We're not moving. Is that her drawing what she saw when her parents were saying something? Weird. Gross. Ooh. Show and tell went well. New babysitter, Grace. Click, click, click. Mum is always typing. Grace took me to the park. When we got back, she was still typing. We found something past the park. Grace said to keep what we saw a secret. Grace keeps watching me. Ew. Lily! That's it, isn't it? That's Grace. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's super like. Oh, that's so horrible looking. I knew you were going to do that. No! There was something over here. Wait. Tape. Right like Hemingway. Five tips. Is this for the mum when she was using the typewriter? Write one sentence. Okay, uh, nothing's jumping out on me here. I'm, I'm panicking right now, so I can probably come back to that if I need to. I would really love it if you kept a flashlight or something. Oh, what's this? Canon Middle School, dear Miss Vida. I'm writing to you one last time to implore you to put Lily back in our school system. I have no doubt in your ability to educate her in a homeschool setting, but I believe she needs to be around other children her age. Lily's had problems with loneliness in the past, and I'm afraid this will exacerbate the problem. Thank you, Jessica Walters, the guidance counsellor. So she did get guidance, but her mum didn't want her to be in the school. I heard all that commotion with Lily, but to be honest, I was too frozen in place. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're the worst people ever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lily. She's gone. That's it. It's the end. Ew. Footprints. She didn't eat a cake either. Look at that. You hiding? Is that the same doll? Oh, oh you! F oh, did you see the movement? Like her limbs didn't work. I'm really hoping that we come across a flashlight. I know that thing's gonna play with the lights. Come on. Cute doggo. Okay, so she does like butterflies. Can't use that. I mean, I'd use that. <laughs> it doesn't have a card. We could definitely use it. Oh, that door's open down there. Go. Just go and explore. Turn the light on. Oh, please. Capturing nature. These photos were taken by the Pentacon Practica. One of our favorite cameras on the market right now. The Practica is the latest innovative German engineer. And if you're interested in nature photography, the camera is definitely worth looking into. Lily would love this. Don't get her another doll. So uh, is that her mum saying that? So she can take pictures of nature and stuff like that. And what, Vida just got her another doll? She's waiting. Oh, so this is actually... Remember what mom said. Please stop doing that. Can hear music again.
What is that sound? I can hear thumping. Where's that coming from? Downstairs? Oh, I can't see anything. I legit can't see anything. I know you guys can't either. Oh my, it's smashing its head against the glass. Hold on, you know what? You keep doing that a second. I think we got another tape. Is it this one? I may have to switch these around for a second because I might have got them mixed up, but... I'm finally back home after spending what felt like an eternity at a hospital. Everything seems so surreal. Like, what do we do now? Neither of us have parents around anymore to ask questions, so Eli bought nine different how to parent books. It's funny how little he knows about taking care of a little human, but at least he's really trying. I may not have all the answers, but that fact relaxes me. That was really, really creepy. She sounded weak. Way too calm. Oh no, the the noise is Nope. Still there. Oh, what are you doing? Give me that flashlight. Oh, I'm braced. I'm so braced. Oh shit. Yep. Oh wow, I was, I was so ready for that as well. What is this though? Like where does this keep transporting us to? Is this what Grace wants us to see? Did something happen to her and this is her showing us? I don't like it, whatever it is. This is this is absolutely terrifying. Hallways like this that are dim lit and you don't know. Oh. Oh, so it's tying in with that place that we keep seeing, Camp the Pharmaceutical Company, right? That was looking into the, the dementia drug. I've probably missed a flashlight somewhere and it's it's gonna bite me in the ass because I'm oh, what's that? Are they mannequins. Grace I keep hearing something like something's trying to talk to me like with with a really like a mouthful of saliva or something. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> that whatever that is. Oh, that is horrible. My my entire body is covered in goosebumps right now. Oh, I don't want to put my back to that, but I want to read this. Wishing Peggy from admin a happy 52nd birthday. Oh, listen to that. Join the celebration at one in the break room. Please let Linda know. Wait, what does that say? Please let Linda know of any food related allergies beforehand. <laughs> Classic. It says peanuts in the cake. Spyglass detective agency. Name unknown, DOB unknown. Found this guy on an archived camp training video. This one really stood out. No indication that the video was ever shown for training purposes, and this guy doesn't fit the usual clean-cut look camp goes for. He'd easily pass for a hippie. Total mystery, no second photo. Okay. So we've got somebody new now. Am I supposed to be seeing something in that room over there? Because I'm not, it's too dark. This is blueprints and stuff. No idea. Don't you dare come alive. Oh, or start moving when I'm not looking. Look at that. Oh, one of them is going to switch and become... Oh my god! Oh. Okay, breathe. Calm down. Fuck. Okay. 
I saw that. I saw you move. I'm ready for it. <sighs> Disrupt the cycle. Oh, yeah. there we go. I really don't don't care for those sounds. This is so incredibly creepy, though. There's not a lot happening, and it's very minor jump scares, but the slow build-up to, like, just slowly moving your way through this facility, whatever the hell it is. Let's get to this. Grace is going to be behind that. No. Okay, it's been happening like clockwork. Every time I finish tucking Lily into bed, the radio in the other room plays a strange song and shuts back off. That's what we were hearing. At first, I thought it was an automatic system of sorts, but tonight, I let Lily stay up an hour later than usual, and it didn't play until immediately after I tucked her in. I called Vida, thinking there was someone in the room. He hurried home, opened the room, and nothing. I know it's not all in my head. Something is going on. I've just had a thought. Is this Lily's mum typing this? That's kind of scary to think about if it is. I don't know what Grace, if it is Grace that's doing this, wants me to see. Oh my, did you see that? Let's just go, go, face your fears, face your fears. starting to play at random times now. Sometimes I run up the stairs when I hear it, but by the time I get close to it, it'll shut off. I know someone is in there, messing with me. If only it wasn't locked. Why is there no key to that door? There it goes again. It's playing over and over. I need to ask Lily if she can hear it too. Okay, she can't hear it, even though it's playing right outside her bedroom. She must be in on it. The fact that we have to go through complete darkness just to get to... Whoa. Whoa. I'm pretty sure I've had a dream like this, where there's been, like, candles and stuff on either side. Is that just me? <laughs> Am I just super weird? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not. <laughs> Please tell me in the comments someone else has had that. I sit outside the door and listen to it now. I never noticed before, but there's someone speaking in the song. This door. I can't make up what they're saying. If only I was closer. Why is there no key? What is it saying? I have to get in. What if it gives me answers? Answers to the song? I'm getting in there even if I have to break the door down. I can hear her now. It all makes sense. The way that we blink and something can change like at the click of a finger. Oh, there's that creepy doll again. I twist the dial, but it won't go any louder. I miss something important. Oh my f- oh. oh, that scared me so bad. Okay, right, let's read. Why won't they speak louder? I have to go inside. I dissect the radio, but still can't hear them clearly. The music just gets louder and the voice gets quieter. What? Now it's coming from the closet. I open it. Nothing. The voice is everywhere now. It's mocking me. Mocking me. Mocking me, Lily. The music stopped. She's screaming. I know what I missed. She keeps repeating it. I'm not safe here. I really hate this. I'm going this way. I just want Grace to stop being a bitch. 
and scaring me so bad. Every time I get scared like that, the air just completely leaves my body and I'm like tensing up as well in the meantime. So it's like a two for one. If you hear any weird noises, guys, you know why? <laughs> I am so on edge right now. I really didn't expect this. I thought it was just gonna be like, like a creepy house. Is there something in that picture? <laughs> oh, is she getting dragged? This is familiar. I really hope it's not just going to be a loop. Like reliving a nightmare over and over again, just completely tormented by this spirit. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? Never mind. How's Lily doing? Is she around? It's the same dialogue. She's just not speaking it this time. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm going to be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? That depends. Are you ready to change your attitude? I suppose you would be stressed if, you if somebody wasn't answering the phone. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh... Uh, go ahead, do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present and give it to her before mm -hmm. she goes to bed. It's a rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs, across from Lily's. It'll be in one of the cabinets. Did you get all that? Yep. Cake in the kitchen, rabbit doll upstairs, got it. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. Something isn't right. <laughs> you can feel it, right? <laughs> Something is making it feel like we're just going to retrace the same thing over and over again. And there's going to be something different. But this is what I was talking about at the beginning. If there's anything that's changed, <laughs> I won't notice it if it's subtle. Especially when I'm freaked out, too. I don't have that luxury of, like, being able to go backwards or, like, pausing it. Hmm. I wonder where she went off to. I wonder if it's doing that on purpose where it's not using the voice that we heard at the beginning because we are now playing that part, you know? It's no longer like we're on on rails. We're, we're actually playing that person, so it wants us to read it out. Lily? That's right, she should be here, though, because... Yeah. All that stuff hasn't happened yet. Yeah, there's the... No! Lily, no, you don't understand. You're in supreme danger. Open the door, please. Oh, shit. Okay, it's too late, Lily. <laughs> you messed up. Oh, get that. Oh, that's different. That's definitely different. Does that music bring the spirit in? That's definitely different. Yeah, there's nothing. Picture on there. The rabbit. Oh, so it does switch. So it goes from there to there. To there. And that doesn't open yet either. Okay. Rabbit. Oh. I don't know if I just saw something behind the fridge too, like, over the top of it.
Looks like she's already got a piece. Did I see that then? Hold on, I need to check that. No, it was the top of the archway. You see that there? I thought something was <laughs> just stuck behind the fridge. <gasps> Lily, please. I gotta say as well, like the transitions and the way things are, are split, it's so well done. It had to be an elevator, didn't it? I don't know where this is taking us. Oh no, no. Oh, it's gonna break. Yep, oh, I knew it. Piercing. It's like going right through my body. <gasps> oh no, no, no. I can hear that noise again that we heard when we was in that facility before. Oh no, 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 it's right next to me. I can hear it. It's like breathing in my ear. I don't know what's happened to Grace, but I definitely don't deserve this. Can we get out. Authorized personnel only. All the furniture's gone. Wait a minute, wait. That's so strange. So that would be the front door then, right? That would be Vida's office. There's no upstairs. Employee watch list. Scott Malcolm, senior instructor two. Monitor activities follow promotion or following promotion. Second observation. 090373. Mr. Malcolm has been actively training subjects for one month. Malcolm spends less time socializing with co-workers and has picked up tobacco use, likely as an anxiety reliever. Regarding his work, Malcolm is a model employee. His transfer rates are higher than those with more experience than him. Malcolm has been observed to be very inquisitive with research staff regarding his project, though his behavior seems to be more for information probing. Recommendation. Award Malcolm with Employee of the Month for his efforts and extend direct observation beyond the camp offices. So he's trying to extract information? Okay, we've got another tape. Mary. I need the tape player, though. There's no light switch. I feel like there's something I'm missing in this room. Honestly, this this area here makes me really uncomfortable because I feel like something's just going to stand against the glass. Yeah, so it is talking about that. Pictures. Oh, what is that? Oh, the whispers too. supposed to go. Hello? Please don't reply. Please don't reply. <laughs> I've got to say, though, I really didn't expect this. I really, really didn't expect this. Oh, what? It's 
Scott Malcolm, senior instructor too. So first observation. So we read the second one before. As of last month, Mr. Scott Malcolm was offered and accepted a position as a senior instructor. As such, Malcolm has been given second floor access and has learned more about camp research. Standard procedure dictates that all employees who receive second floor access be observed for a period of four months. Malcolm has been designated the instructor for project... Can't quite see that. Sometimes you can read them even though they've been, or tried to be redacted. Under the supervision of, and works directly with the subdivision, VIDA Psychi Psychiatrics. So VIDA is involved in this, Lily's dad, to find volunteers slash paid research subjects. So he's trying to extract information. And so this was the first observation. The second observation said he was doing well, but his behavior is someone who is trying to get information out rather than trying to be, you know, just a normal person with his co-workers and stuff like that. They've noticed his behavior being weird. Yeah, look. So we're in the camp facility now. Center for Applied Memory Pharmaceuticals. I've got to be honest with you guys, I'm getting forest vibes from this. You know how it's just like a, a random twist out of nowhere? It's blowing my mind a little bit. What does that say? Acetylene? That's got to be explosive. We're going to take this entire place with us. Can't read any of that. Ooh. Grace, please don't do it. Please. Whatever it is you're trying to make me see, I'm getting there, okay? I'm trying. Oh, here we go. No, 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 that's the wrong one. Shit, no. Hold on. No. Oh, shit, no. Okay, I'm going to let this roll through, and then I'll get the other tape in. There we go. I feel like I'm being watched. I hate that. Well, that's not good. No idea what that is. Oh, watch this. Oh, third observation. Here we go. At work, Mr. Malcolm's behavior is friendly and outgoing. His behavior changes as soon as he leaves work. He's paranoid, anxious, and actively avoids communication with anyone. Off-hour observation has shown that Malcolm spends very little time at home, spending nights at random motels around town. There is no pattern to where he stays other than its different location every three nights. Recommendation. Malcolm cannot take the mental stress of his position. It must be made clear whether he's divulging camp secrets, termination, or other measures need following determination. So they're going to make him go missing then, right? Second floor lobby doors. Before I press that, let me just double check these. Grace, you better not be hiding one of these. You see, I'm saying it's Grace. It might not be. Wait. Congratulations on Scott Malcolm for being instructor of the month. So they did award him with that then. This is a big year for our center. We're expecting twice as many people visiting, interested in our research. than we did the previous quarter. Make sure to greet guests with a smile, provide information. You're the face of this research. This is so weird. I'm kind of understanding what's going on. There's clearly some kind of pharmaceutical thing going on with Vida and his... I don't know if the home is fake. If it's some kind of study that's going on, you know? And why is nobody here as well? See, this is what's throwing me off. Because you know for a fact, a pharmaceutical company like this, this has got more, like, security presence than probably Area 51, <laughs> if we're telling the truth. Secrets that cannot get out. I don't know what all that is. Is that the doors that we just unlocked? We don't have... 
Yeah, we don't have any more. Oh. Didn't see what that said. I don't know if they're notes from Grace either. I'm, I'm guessing it is with they're having some kind of like effect when we, when we collect them. Oh my God. I just want to see what's down here. The procedure is over, but you are worse. So now it's making me think that they were they were testing the procedure on people and it was causing problems like what we're going through now. Probably Grace was one of those people. There's so many things it could be. I'm still really confused. <laughs> All right, we need answers. Is this where they made everything? I've seen this movie. This is where they made the T-Virus. <laughs> That's what they made in there. There's a really creepy sound as well. Like an ambient sound coming through. Can't take the lift. Got something there. What does that say? The good doctor is a liar. It is his curse. Are you talking about Vida? It's gotta be. It is. Because this is the TV and they're making it, like, in mass. So... There's more than one of these, like, buildings that we was assuming was the home of Lily and Vida. It's not. It's all a prop. I think. You were right. They were watching me. They've been watching me since I got promoted. They still don't seem to know I've been communicating with you. Oh, I think they know, Scott. I feel them closing in, though. I can't come back here. I'll get whatever evidence you want, but you need to get me out now. I'm shooting a training film in two days. In that time, I'll get whatever files I can. You need to get ahead and probe the Vida place. Yeah, there we go. Don't watch any TV or listen to any local radio broadcasts until we're done with this. I appreciate everything you folks have done. So is the music like a trigger or something then? So many questions. The mine is a tough shell to crack. Our work is the best way to crack it. Small yet powerful. Just one pill is all it takes to boost your memory. Isn't there something like this coming out soon? I'm not entirely sure if it's it's going to be fit for use, but I believe it's to, to combat something with memory or something like that that has been cleared. There is no keycard in your inventory. Oh, shit. Have I got to find that? Oh, it was right there. I didn't see that. The, <laughs> the doll was holding it the entire time. See, I trained my brain to not look at that thing because I was like, oh, it's going to be Annabelle's cousin at the beginning and it was holding it. All right, let's get this thing open. There we go. So this is where they do all their surveillance then. Watching their workers. Makes you think as well, like back in the 70s, how high tech were things, you know? I'm guessing pretty up there. Well, a lot of us think they probably had. They were way ahead of the game. <laughs> Where's this going? After hours, lockdown overridden. Welcome, instructor. So are we using Scott's keycard? Is that why he said instructor then? Something tells me Scott isn't around anymore. And we're walking right into a trap. Wait, no way. Is this all the people that tried to get out with their information? Every now and again... Oh, 
look, look, it's the house. So it is that then. Scroll through. West Hallway, 1973. Yeah, so we're still in the 70s. There's nothing changed with that. The only reason I say that, by the way, is because it looked quite modern, but again, what did they have back then? Ooh. Yeah, look at the name of it. Feeder's living room. The mog. There's one missing as well. <laughs> Let me guess. That's Grace. Where are we supposed to go? Going? Thank you for playing Blink the last night. The story will be continued in the lost chapter. I really, really enjoyed that. I really thought it was going to be something else where we were in like the 70s in a house where we were dealing with a vengeful spirit, but what it turned into was so much more. And I really want to know more as well. There's so much left unanswered, but I guess we're going to get that in the lost chapter. So if you guys do want to see more of this, we want to continue this journey through what's going on and find out all the answers. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.